All right, so the easiest thing to do, so we're going to create our drawing from our template. And since this is a template, we're not going to draw the drawing directly on the template. We're going to use tracing paper, and we're going to trace over it. So the most obvious thing is this little piece at the top. We'll, we'll call it the point of the spear or whatever. So obviously, we're following this pink line to here. I can do that on the other side. Now, obviously, for those people who are tracing, you should have your tracing paper taped down so it doesn't move. All right, and then obviously we, fo we follow the rectangle that we drew yesterday, in, or in part one. And then we follow this down here. And um, since you're using a ruler anyways, you're gonna continue this line right here. And notice how, notice how there's a little star right here. So we are essentially going to be tracing around this star. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And since I'm using a ruler anyways, I'm going to continue this line on the other side of my five-pointed star. So let me know when you're ready to continue. So the next step is, if I look at my drawing here, I can see that I'm essentially outlining a 10-sided figure, a decagon. So I'm going to create that decagon by following the pink line to the gray line. Um, now, when I was doing this at home on paper, I was thinking about just outlining the edge of the stars that go around the middle. If you don't see the stars, that's okay. Um, another way to think about it is I'm just dark or tracing the pink line inside the, the rectangles that I have created so far. And then I'm going to do that all the way around the drawing. So it's not quite a circle, it is a 10-sided figure, which is called a decagon. I mean, yeah. All right. And while you're doing that, uh, while you're finishing up, uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to have the bottom of my spear here as well.
So now I have the outline of the rosette that I'm going to be drawing. So now the, the last step in this case is going to probably be the hardest to see. If you look inside the drawing, essentially you have these rectangles, but they don't go all the way through. They intersect with another rectangle, and it's, it's not always the same rectangle that they intersect with. So here's how I thought about it when I was drawing it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, point and I'm going to trace one, two, three intersections. So again, from the origin of the draw of the line, one. The second intersection is the diameter of the uh, adjacent rectangle, and then the next intersection is where I stop my line. So again, that's one, two, three. So that it's the intersection immediately after you cross the diameter. And since you're using a ruler, it makes sense to do the same thing on the other side. So that's one, two, three, and that is one intersection past the diameter of the adjacent rectangle. Of course, rectangles don't have diameters, but I hope Hope you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. To finish this rectangle, we're going to go one, two, three intersections. One, two, three intersections. And then just, just so it starts to look a little bit more like something, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use the rectangle that's two over. So one, two, three intersections. And notice how it intersects with one of my original lines. One, two, here's the third intersection. And I'm going to carry that line through for this rectangle. So that's one intersection, two intersection, three intersections. On the top of it, we have one intersection, two intersections, three intersections. So after you do two of these, you'll notice that the opposite ver uh, vertices of the diamond in the middle, these opposite vertices connect exactly with each other. So the endpoints are, are coincide. And then on the other uh, vertice, the other two vertices of this diamond in the middle. The lines extend just a little bit past each other. So, and, that, and that's what it should look like after you have two of them drawn. So I'm going to just continue this pattern of two, uh, three intersections to complete this part of the drawing. So one, two, three. And you're going to hear me count to three an awful lot. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Actually, I have to say the count was like my favorite Sesame Street character. But the problem with the count is he wasn't in every episode, so you felt like it was so special when you counted something. <laughs> One. Two, three. Oh, yeah, right. Uno, dos, tres. Eins, zwei, drei. Oh, deux, trois. Oh, 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 oh. Is it, is it, can anyone count in another language? Just, what? Okay, can you say it, say it slower? Each knee, san, chi, Each knee, each knee, san, san. I only, I, I only need to count three. San. Oh, ho, oh, 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 oh. Is that Japanese? Each knee, sing. 
I probably forgot that. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Really, we should be counting in Arabic. Does anyone know Arabic? Oh, oh, so what's it in Russian? They do? Abu Dhabi looks like a really cool city. Have you visited them? It is not short. All right, so at this point, a couple things I want to reiterate. You want to put down as much graphite as possible. Uh, so you have one of two ways of proceeding here. One is by etching the uh, graphite onto a piece of paper multiple times. The other one is by using a light table or a window to trace. I think that's what we're going to do because we have plenty of sun. Now, there is one last thing that you may notice about my drawing uh, over here, the rosette, that is not present uh, on my template. We have these two little X's outside the rosette. I will tell you right now that these two X's are absolutely critical for tiling your drawing. So, so I'm going to create one more uh, group of intersections, maybe. Uh, I wouldn't make them super long, but you definitely need to have them. And yes, they are a necessary part of the drawing. So then what you should do before you take the tracing paper off the uh, template is you should slide your ruler in between the tracing paper and the template and make sure that you have all of the lines drawn the way you want them to be drawn. It is pretty. Yes. Absolutely. All right. So once you're done tracing on the tracing paper, we need to we need to get this drawing onto a regular sheet of paper so that we can color it and do all the other stuff that we want to do with it. We also want to be able to tile it. So after you after you trace this onto your piece of paper, you're going to have to tile it in such a way that they'll, everything lines up. So that's where these X's come in. You're going to line up the tip of your spears with your X's. And when you do that, look, you create the stars. So then you're going to uh, continue. You're going to continue to trace your drawing and then line up the X's. It does look like a heart. And so you will uh, continue this. There you go. What incredible, mate. Hey, don't so, are there questions about what you're going to do to create this drawing across the whole page? No. No. All right. So, at this point, uh, why don't you go ahead and get going? And I'm going to stop this video after I get this one in, of course. And so, go ahead and use Mr. Bailey's room.